Hi, my name is Maher Lewis, and I will be showing you how to uh, how to create a point style for a tree symbol um, that is three dimensional instead of a two dimensional out of the box uh, tree drip line. So um, we'll start out by going to AutoCAD Civil 3D 2009. Open that up. Um, now for me, I, um, I've i been using Civil 3D 2009 for some time now and uh, I started Civil 3D in 2008 and I have Civil 3D 2010 but uh, I preferred 2009 because I haven't really played around with 2010. Um, things have changed in 2010 um, and I haven't really uh, got any time to play around with it. But anyways, we're going to do it in 2009. and. Uh, uh, the first thing you will notice is that I have this tool space open and uh, if you are a uh, beginner to this uh, to get your tool space you go to the general pull down menu and go down to tool space which should be the second from the top and then you'll notice there are three tabs um, we'll go to the settings tab and in your settings tab will be all your styles So. Um, settings tab uh, again I'm also in, in the master view for this drawing and this is just a regular Q new drawing that I I set up uh, in my options to be um, uh, based on the, uh, the the template file that was that came with civil 3d so um, before we go into the point and the point styles okay before you go, why don't we just import some points? All right. So um, I go down to the pull down menu, the, the points pull down menu, import points, uh, and export points. Go to import points. Um, the format is PNEZD is the one that I know. Um, the surveyor provided me is a is an ASCII file or a text file that had point northern eastern uh, Z is the elevation, D is the description. So. Um, I have a jobs folder, a uh, jobs number, and then the uh, survey is right here. This is the survey uh, information. This is the original survey right here, but then I, I, I edited it so that I can import it into Civil 3D. Um, and, and you can open it. Um, you can see right here that it's, it's a point, comma, delimited. Uh, there's the number, there's the northern eastern elevation and then of course the description method. okay so I just right click and open um, but that's the file that we're going to import in there it is um, I'm not going to put it into any point group it'll go to all points I will uncheck the box some of you will have this box checked when you when you open this file this uh, window so make sure that's off make sure that's off and then say okay okay uh, double click the, uh, the 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 middle the wheel of your mouse. <laughs> I've already uh, I've already set my trees to be three dimensional, um, but I can show you how to how I did it. So um, okay, first thing you want to do is you want to go right click onto the tree um, point point styles tree, and then in the marker you'll see the use AutoCAD block symbol for marker. Uh, the AutoCAD block symbol marker is uh, in your. Uh, it comes with Civil 3D, and uh, uh, these are the symbols that uh, that you can find uh, in Civil 3D. So you can find it here in your C drive. Go to. I have Vista, so I have a folder called Program Data, Autodesk. C3D 2009, ENU data symbols, and then the MV blocks. That's where all these symbols are. And um, you could choose any one of these as your symbol. Let's just choose one. Uh, we'll choose that one. So there it is. You will see in your preview. And then as soon as you rotate it, it'll pop to become some 
something else. So go apply. And there, all my trees are now that simple. So if you do a, a 3DO to look at it, it should pop. See? There you go. So that's how you create these points to be three dimensional. Um, obviously, there are some points that are uh, a little high. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, maybe the elevation is uh, is uh, messed up on them. So let's take a look at them. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah. So these elevations are at a thousand. Uh, that's not right. Uh, they're not supposed to be at that 1,000, but the surveyor decided to arbitrarily choose uh, an elevation of 1,000. But these are true, it's true elevations. Okay. And uh, let's quickly create a surface. So I went to my Prospector tab, Surfaces. I'm going to create a surface, call it EG. Uh, I'm going to select uh, a 1 and 5, EG and we'll do the point group all points and obviously it's all messed up right because of those points right there so I will um, go to the definition and build uh, obviously the elevation uh, cannot be at an uh, elevation greater than let's say 800 and the triangles would have a maximum length um, of let's say 75. Rebuild the surface, say okay. There, there's my surface. Looks better. Um, and um, again, I'm just looking at it in three dimensions because uh, I prefer to see my surface. Now, there's a real easy way to make sure those go to the surface. And uh, I can show you right now. What you do is, I'll take it out of 3, 3DO, okay. is you select them, and then um, just say elevations from surface, e.g. I should just go right to it. <laughs> so that's the fastest way of getting it to do that. And uh, um, let's go 3DO so that we can see that it looks good. Alright, so there it is, there are the trees. And um, we can go conceptual. There we go, that's conceptual. Alright, or uh, realistic. See if it doesn't bomb. I uh, like conceptual. So, anyways, that's how you do it, um, and that concludes this demonstration of how to make your your tree point styles three-dimensional uh, blocks or three-dimensional trees. Okay, thank you for watching.